Right, got the cover back on. There's no doubt about it, it's a very pretty looking cassette deck. Very pretty, very pretty deck. Working very nicely. All oh, right, I think I'll 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 pack it up for the moment. And job, job done. Cross fingers. I always say that there's always something, always rears its head. Always. Hopefully it's done all its arrears and uh, nothing will uh, now show up. I've had a few unexpected things with it already, but anyway, they've managed to be sorted out. So. Hopefully that's that. All right, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, say good night, Mr. Pioneer. All right, good night. I've had to uh, quieten it down due to Mr. YouTube is listening. Okay, that was a little bit uh, probably against Mr. YouTube, so we'll try some Foster and Allen. We'll see if uh, that's okay. Stick that in. Now it's a Type 1. It's an XDR cassette, which are generally pretty good, and it's Dolby. Okay, let's try that. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I'll always remember the song they were singing the first time. Yeah, what I don't like about a lot of cassette decks is the output control actually controls the VU meter. I don't like that at all. There is a, a notch at number six, which is the standard level. So I generally leave it there. When we're together, it feels so right. Uh, we'll see, this is uh, Steve Winwood, Ark of a Diver. Oh, oh shit, what's happened? Yeah. wonder if it's that relay again. I hope not. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm not sure if I'll get away with that music. I shall see. I might have to overdub it with something else. <laughs>
Now the next thing uh, I need to do is to try a recording of uh, probably a CD. I've uh, got a down here a Denon 2900 DVD 2900. It's a it's an all format player, and I'll I'll put in a, a good disc, and uh, we'll try copying it. And I'll be using a one of my um, SA discs uh, that I acquired second hand. This lot was 37 of them for a good price. I'll go and bulk erase it and I shall return. Just for a bit of a laugh, I've played a, a little bit of the second hand tape I got and uh, uh, 2004. Have a listen. Secretary Paul O'Neill says President Bush at cabinet meetings was like a blind man in a room full of deaf people. <laughs> O'Neill who was pushed out of his job by the president said Mr. Bush was so disengaged, the decision-making process so flawed that often top officials had no idea what the president wanted them to do, forcing them to act on little more than a hunch. O'Neill has kept silent about his ouster 13 months ago and will give his first interview Sunday on the CBS News broadcast 60 Minutes. The Supreme Court said it will decide whether it is in fact legal for President Bush to order the indefinite detention of U.S. citizens captured abroad fighting for terrorist groups. The court dismissed repeated Bush administration claims to turn down the appeal of Yasser. Well, from one fool of the past to another currently in office, it's, uh, things don't change much over there. Right, I'll go and uh, bulk erase this, get rid of Mr. Bush. Okay, I've uh, erased the uh, tape. I've, I've bought a bulk eraser recently and uh, buying a lot of second-hand tapes, I think it's a good idea to uh, bulk erase them. It, it just saves a lot of uh, hassles later on. Uh, for example, you're recording something and then you, you stop the recording and and uh, it, when you play it back, all of a sudden there's this other garbage at the end of it that you think, oh no, what's that? So it just stops all the, the other stuff being there and uh, so when you finish recording, it's a nice uh, blank space. The uh, music I'm going to try to record is uh, one I've made myself of various tracks that I'm very familiar with. It's an SA100 by TDK, by the way. So it's a Type 2, uh, Dolby, blah, blah, source. Let's go with, let's just see what it's like. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a, a go at this. Tapes in, stick it in, record. Just got it sitting here. Oh, what's happened? Oh, oh dear. I said, never mind. Well, this is why a soap test, just in case things happen. So putting the cover on, uh, the recording button's not working. More than likely it's uh, the switch up the top there. I, I've done something, don't know what yet. All right, well it's a nuisance, I'll have to, I'll have to find out what's going on. Oh, that is a nuisance. I'll try another tape just to be sure. No, no, it's and the tabs are there. So, oh dear.
There's always something. Always something. As soon as I took the machine away and put it on the bench I soon realised that um, I have to press play and uh, record button together uh, to start it off. That's uh, a bit different to the Nakamichi where you press the record button and then press the play to get it moving. Uh, but I sorted that out shortly. But I, this was the first soak test and I, I had to take it away to uh, have a look at uh, two things. One was my mistake with the recording button but but also that uh, cassette insert uh, sense which uh, was uh, a little bit intermittent. Uh, nothing serious, uh, it seemed to be working all right, but anyway, I um, had to take it away and put it back on the bench again. So uh, that was the first soak test of, uh, I think about four or five I did in the end. Uh, each time I found something different to uh, investigate, but that's life. Uh, catch you on the next one.